Doctors at the University of Maryland Medical Center say they may have found a breakthrough treatment that could help millions of people suffering with this crippling disease. They say it's already turned back the clock for one Parkinson's patient from Frederick. Kimberly Splutter says this is what her Parkinson's disease looked like. She says sometimes she couldn't even walk. My husband was helping me cut my food up, you know, just a month ago. Parkinson's is a degenerative disease of the nervous system, and doctors say there's no cure, only an old treatment with its own set of side effects. It's not as effective as the disease gets worse. It, it works erratically, and it seems to also induce involuntary movements. But now, doctors at the University of Maryland Medical Center are experimenting with a new treatment that's never been done before. It's called MRI-guided ultrasound. Patients are put into an MRI machine so that doctors can get a close-up look at the brain's activity. Then, ultrasound waves are targeted to a part of the brain that's linked with the uncontrolled movements. The symptoms that we're trying to relieve of those symptoms like trauma, rigidity. Kimberly underwent this treatment in August, and now, just one month later, she can walk. <laughs> she can even ride her bike again. Anything that I ever wanted to do, I can do again now. I can ride my bike, I can run, I can walk, I can take my grandson to the park, I can do everything. Kimberly was the first person to undergo this treatment, so doctors have no idea how long its effects will last. But Kimberly's staying optimistic. I have a whole new life ahead of me again. I thought everything that was holding me back, it's not anymore. I can do anything I want to do now. Doctors say there is still a very long road ahead of them before this treatment could become a mainstream solution for Parkinson's patients. But they're hopeful because it's incredibly rare for clinical trials to produce immediate results like this. Reporting in the studio, Carolyn Blackburn, WHAG News.